Notion is a great app for organizing your team's data and documentation, but compared to a platform like Airtable, it's always been pretty lacking when it comes to automation. And while they still haven't closed the gap entirely, Notion is making some impressive progress with their native automations. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the latest database automation features in Notion to help you save time and get more out of your Notion workspace. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use no-code tools like Notion, Airtable, Zapier, and Make to build time-saving workflows for our members and clients. If you'd like to learn more about our services, check out our website at xray.tech. To see more automation tips and tutorials every week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'll show you how to build database automations in Notion step by step. We'll start with a quick Slack automation that you can build on a free Notion plan. Then I'll show you some more advanced features that require a Notion Plus account. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to build an easy automation that just sends a Slack alert whenever a new page is added to a database in Notion. This is an automation that you can build on a free Notion plan. To get started with database automations in Notion, just open up the database you want to automate. Then click on the lightning bolt up in the top right next to the search icon. This will immediately create a blank automation canvas that you can configure with custom settings. Under when, you'll need to choose a trigger. In workflow automation, a trigger is an event that prompts an automation to run. For this workflow, choose page added as the trigger. That means this automation will run whenever a new page is added to this database. If you'd like to restrict the automation so that it only runs for new pages that appear in a specific view, you can select that here where it says for all pages in. But for this example, we'll have the automation watch the entire database for new pages. Under do, you can pick an automated action to perform. However, on the free plan, you'll see that only one option is available, send Slack notification to. This will automatically send a pre-composed Slack message to a channel of your choice whenever your trigger event occurs. There's not much to configure here. All you can really customize is the channel that the message will be sent to. But before you can do that, you'll have to connect Slack and Notion, so click Connect. This first pop-up will let Notion access your Slack account. And the second one will let Slack access Notion. Okay, now that everyone's gotten to know each other, you can pick the channel you want to use. I'll go with the Tutorials channel. For this action, there's nothing else to configure, so let's just give it a test. Whenever you create an automation that runs for new pages in a Notion database, I'd strongly recommend using forms to add new pages rather than adding them directly to the database. If you create a blank page and then fill in the info one field at a time, the automation might run before you can finish providing the necessary information. And then the automation might not run correctly either. You can just click here to make a form view and it will automatically create a form that includes every editable field. Then open up its link and fill it out to create a new page with all of its information already in place. Notion automations run every few minutes, so the Slack message won't appear right away. But within a couple of minutes, you should see the Slack message here with Notion's pre-configured message, which includes links to the database and the new page. Nice. This automation is all set. If you want to edit the automation or turn it off, you can find those options here. Now let's take a look at what Notion Plus unlocks for database automations. We'll build a similar but more advanced automation. It will still trigger when a new page is created in this database, but instead of sending a Slack message, we'll have it compose an email in Gmail. We'll also include a custom formula that will update the value of a page attribute using conditional logic. So to start, open up a database and click on the lightning bolt icon. Create a new automation. Choose page added as the trigger. For the action, you'll see that there are now several more accessible choices. We can edit properties in a database, create new pages, edit pages, send Notion notification, or define variables. But for this first action, choose send mail to. And just like with Slack, you'll need to introduce your Gmail account to your Notion account as well. Now that Notion is authorized to use Gmail, you can compose the message you want to send. For the recipient, you can either choose to send the email to a specific account attached to your Notion workspace, or dynamically pick an address from an email field in the table. I'll just send all of these alerts to our X-Ray Tutorials email. For the subject line and message, you can enter static text directly and insert dynamic data retrieved in the trigger. So I'll just type in a simple subject line. 
a new contact was added to the directory database on, you can type the at symbol to pull up data retrieved in the trigger. You'll see all of the page's attributes, as well as some metadata, like the date and time the automation was triggered. I'll use time triggered to display the date and time the new page was created. In the message, I'll provide some more detail about the page, like its title and the email address of the new contact that the page represents. I'll also include the URL of the page. The Gmail step is all set, but let's add one more step here before we finish and test the automation. Let's create a Notion formula with the Edit Property step to provide a default language selection based on the country provided. Add a new step at the end of the automation. Choose Edit Property. Choose the field you want to edit. I'll be updating the Language field. Then click on this Sigma symbol to write a formula. We'll start with an IFS statement because we want to change the value of this variable based on different conditions. First, we'll need to specify a condition to evaluate. We'll check if the country field equals UK. That will look like this. Then we'll provide the value to use for the language attribute if that condition is true. That is, if the country is the UK. I'll enter English. You can add as many conditions as you'd like to an if statement. I'll add one more for France and French using the same syntax. And I'll wrap it up with a default choice, no language provided. If none of the other conditions are true, then Notion will use this default choice. So we don't need to provide a specific condition to test, just the default value to use. If you're new to using formulas in Notion, this might be a bit confusing. Formulas will do a lot to expand the functionality of Notion automations, so I'd recommend checking out Notion's docs to learn more about how they work. You can find them in this video's resources board as well. This formula is all set, so I'll click on Save. Then I'll save the whole automation. Let's give it a few tests to make sure that conditional logic in the formula works as intended. I'll submit one from the UK, one from France, and one from India, which should trigger the default condition. And after waiting a moment, we've got some email alerts for each new contact. And if we check the database, we can see that their languages are all configured correctly. Perfect. Ultimately, Notion's automation tools are still not much to boast about in contrast to Airtable, and they certainly can't compete with dedicated automation providers like Zapier, Make, or Pipedream. If Notion's native automations still aren't cutting it for you, we've prepared a beginner's guide to Pipedream, which is linked on your screen now. Pipedream, with its support for thousands of apps and extensive custom code, goes way beyond what you'll find natively in Notion. You can also find similar guides for Zapier and Make in the resources board linked below. However, for Notion Power users or organizations who are already storing their data in Notion, these updated automation features will be a quick and convenient way to automate simple tasks in an app you're already familiar with. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. How will you use Notion automations to streamline your work? Are there other automation providers that you prefer to use instead? And are there any other Notion features you'd like to see us explore on the channel? Your suggestion could become one of our next videos. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the X-Ray Workflow Resources Board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.